Welcome to the channel everyone, this is Easy Gamer. how you all doing, hope you're doing well. Today we got a new dev blog from War Thunder, and we are looking at a, another Chinese light tank stroke tank destroyer. It's the ZLT-11 light tank China rank, that whatever. Now, I've never played uh, the Chinese tree so i i don't know how there is another one in they do mention it uh the pl2 uh, ptl02 now i've been reading a bit about this before i started recording and they say it's pretty similar so let's just go through some things that i picked up um <clears throat> yeah and a long wheel tank destroyer the zlt11 with a rifled 105 mm gun is desired additional to the Chinese top tier vehicle setup. Now pros, decent firepower, it's amphibious. I don't know how that's gonna come in any use really. I don't know if you can use it maybe naval. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, or well, what you gonna hide at the river and wait for someone to come past and pot them? I, I, I don't know. Cons, weak protection, yeah, normally on um, a uh, uh, Wheeled vehicles are very weak protection. Huge size, yeah, they are normally a bit bigger. Uh, oh, what else uh, can we talk about? Uh, 105 rifled cannon created on the base of the British L7 gun that also has the ability to fire anti-tank guided missiles. The vehicle's fire control system includes a combined gunner sight with thermals imaging Channel two-way plane gun stabilized to overcome water obstacles. The machine is equipped with two propellers at the steering in addition to versions of domestic use and export version for the vehicle with different cons of armament equipment created on the basis of the ZLT-11 export vehicle are mainly intended for delivery to African countries. Okay, so they just want to sell more shit to Africa. Okay, uh, modern Chinese army, blah, blah, blah. That's really nothing. Um, yeah, uh, I did notice this camo is pretty cool for it. Digital camo. Further, I don't know what to say much about this. Okay, let's just advertise it. Uh, I think... Uh, yeah. I don't know, Gaijin is focusing so much heavy on top tier, they are forgetting about the low tier. The Chinese and the Japanese tech trees in early tiers is one of the worst there is. There is no real anything in there. Yeah, Gaijin's answer to this will be a decompress, uh, 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 like a motorbike that's trying to start that's not getting any gas. Uh, yeah, instead of them trying to focus more on the Chinese and start to flush it out the, 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 the beginning tiers, they are more flushing out the higher ranking tiers. Maybe people like to go play there, I don't know. But for me it's not a big issue, but it is a nice looking vehicle, I do agree. Uh, I do play with the, a lot of the British tech tree with the South African vehicles. They are enjoyable in the right circumstances, so yeah, maybe other YouTubers will give you a better and maybe from yourself we'll have a better understanding of this thing oh yeah okay we've got and now for a good 105 rifled gun created on the basis of the british l7 yeah yeah only fires regular rounds including heat and ap fsds also launches atms with tender warheads oh uh, well yeah we'll see night vision that's pretty standard nothing Except for the, the but every Rush, the Russian tanks, I think, can also fire uh, ATGMs through its uh, barrel. Mm, further, I don't know if it will bring anything unique, just like the South African armored vehicle. Okay, that, that brought something unique to the British tech tree that it never had, but we already got one of these in. This is just the cheap ass version that they sold to Africa. So, yeah, I don't know if. This camera is also pretty cool. Um, if this will really do any, have any real use. So let's just wait to see. Um, but it's pretty nice. 
maybe it's needed for the Chinese tech tree. I don't know. Maybe it's not needed. We won't know. We'll have to wait and see. But it's pretty nice. Command uh, modern Chinese um, modular 4x4 chassis used for many vehicles, different purposes. Command vehicle self propelled howitzer ZTL. ZLT 11 is an infantry fire support vehicle in direct successor to the PTL 02 in War Thunder. The new Chinese top tier light tank will also be further development of the PLT, offering improved charisma compared to the predecessor. Solving main problems including weak protection. Weak protection. This thing you still got shit protection. It's an it's it's it's, it's an armored vehicle. Ah uh, yeah okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what this does. Eh. So far I'm not very impressed, but we'll see it. Well, let's put it like this: it can't be any worse than direct shit. Really, it can't be any worse than that. This next update. So yeah, we'll we'll wait and see. So all I'm going to say for this, rating of this 1 to 10, about a 5. So that's all I'm going to say about this. So thank you for watching these videos. Thanks for liking these videos. Thanks for commenting. Thank you for disliking them if you don't like it. And yeah, if you want to stay in tuned on what's happening in War Thunder and other games, then hit the subscribe button. We're always welcome. And yeah, just thanks a lot. Keep safe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.